hi guys and welcome back to my channel so tonight we have another declutter and it is like body lotions butters and oils if that makes sense so just anything you're going to stick on your body to make it soft and more gorgeous and um, before we do that i just want to announce the winner of my like random giveaway that i did the other day and it is sarah jenkins drum roll um Here's the little comment that she popped on my video. She had the correct answer. I had 77 products coming into my collection for November. So congratulations, Sarah. You are a public subscriber. You have actually commented quite a few times in previous videos, not just on giveaways. And so that makes you a worthy winner. So please do drop me a DM over on Instagram. It is at Lady Mawa Beauty. Go find me there. Drop me a message and we'll have a chat and see what sort of things that you're interested in, whether it's skincare, hair care, makeup, and then I'll try and get you a bespoke box of goodies just for you, something that's gonna suit you, that you're gonna to want to be able to use, rather than just all the stuff that I don't want. So hopefully that will um, suit you down to the ground. Drop me a message there in the next few days. I am busy working and child caring for my grandson and things, but we will try and get it away to you before Christmas. So yeah, so keep your eye out. There's gonna be loads more giveaways like that coming all the time, plus spot giveaways on my declutters. I have got a little giveaway running over on my face masks. I think there's only one person that's actually messaged that they want that. So do go check that out if it's something that you might be interested in. Um, I think it was my face masks. I think it was. So yeah, so today, as I say, we're doing like body butters, body lotions, body oils and the likes. So we're just gonna run through them and look at all the things that I'm gonna keep and all the things i'm just going to declutter in the keep pile there will also be things in there that i'll be doing in future giveaways and things i'm just simplifying the whole process to keeping or decluttering and most things that i'll be getting decluttered will be old opened and uh, yeah just a bit stinky rank <laughs> um it's quite late at night excuse me i've been working all day um, my mum has kindly made me my tea, well, my mum and dad. Um, so I've been around there, had some dinner, which was delicious. And yeah, it's a Thursday night. It's a babysitting night. So my husband's around babysitting our gorgeous, gorgeous little boy, grandson. And then I'm left here on my own, filling a couple of hours till he gets home. So yeah, let's get this video done. I'm just gonna whiz it around. There's loads of stuff in here. This is a big category, but I really wanna get it done and all packed away. So I'm just gonna stick this like this. Over here's declutters, over here's keeping. I might need another box for keeping actually. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna take my shoes off. I've still got my shoes on. Hang on guys. Oh my word, let's just get them off. One, oh, that's better. Okay, so I've got two boxes here for keeping because I think it's gonna be a keeping kind of video. Right then, let's get started. The first one, I've had this open a while and it is the EMZ London Al Helwa strawberry with body butter with shea butter, cruelty free, natural vegan. Um, yeah, and I've used a bit of it, it is on my bedside table, um, but not that much. It smells okay, it's one that's actually really hard, and I think it's going to be a bit difficult to use. It is really greasy and oily, and I'm just wondering if this is something I really want to keep or not. It's very th there's things that I like better, I don't hate it but it is really quite rich. I might just keep it for over the winter months and see if I use it, just if I've got like really dry knees and things. So I'm gonna keep it for now, but I may end up popping it into a future declutter video. But um, I'm gonna stick it on the think about it pile. <laughs> I've got a think about it pile. I'm going for the big ones first. This I've had for ages and it is a body butter from Sopa Dupa. Do you remember we used to get this all the time in Latest and Beauty? It's been open forever. Um, oh sorry, I've got a running nose. I'm gonna sniff and a sniff. Um, I think it's probably all right, to be honest. It is in the yuzu fruit and fig. I mean, I did quite like these. It feels all right. Let me just see what it's like. I'm gonna stick a bit on my arm before I make a massive decision. I mean, it has been open ages. The only thing with this is you have to rub it a lot. See how it goes white? It just takes a bit of rubbing in but generally they were quite nice. It still smells nice, so I'm definitely gonna keep it, but I'm gonna put this on one to get used up sooner than later. Next thing I haven't opened this yet, I've got a like a 
shower gel bath bubble bath thing which is matching in the set guava and gold paradise farm body lotion keeping this it looks really really lovely look at that i kind of want that in my bathroom <laughs> um with the matching um bubble bath shower gel body wash thing but yeah it just looks so beautiful definitely keeping hold of that it's only fairly new in my collection um next thing we've got is a sanctuary spa body butter these tubs just get some getting through and to be honest i went through a spell of i used to use them all the time my body lotions and i got through loads especially the smaller tubes sometimes it only takes i like, can get through them in less than a week um because i tend to just put them on my arms my legs my body like everywhere boobs which are massive that takes up a lot um <laughs> yeah so I want to use this soap as well. I got it at Christmas last year. I have made quite a good start on it. Again, it's one that I just need to get on with. So these, I think that and my Soapa Duper are going to be my next ones to really work on. Just the big, but just get them out of the way and then they're done. This is one that I'm currently working on. And I think there's probably only maybe one application left. And it's Ritual's Cream On, the Ritual of Holly. I just love it. It smells beautiful. I literally think I'll probably finish that tonight before I go to bed. But yeah, I've just been up and taken it off my bedside um, cabinet, cabinet, bedside table. Um, and I found that if I put my creams there, I use them more. And especially as well, like um, after baths and showers, because I tend to go back into my bedroom with my towel wrapped around me. And then once I'm dry, before I get dressed, I'll do my body lotions or before I go to bed. So my body lotions, that's the space I need to, the space, the place I need to keep them. So yeah. This is really nice. All the Rituals ones are. And they're a really good, cheaper alternative to like Molten Brown. And the fragrances are divine. Okay. Keeping that. And again, that's one that I'm going to get finished off. Just wondering if I can see anything else that's like open. Um, I don't think so particularly. So we'll just start working our way through. Most will probably keep. Well, uh, so let's just be honest about that. Let's get this big one out. This looks like a giant pokeball <laughs> um dr h it's hyaluronic acid for your body i don't think i've got another hyaluronic acid body lotion but look at this oh, looks so bougie it is like a giant pokeball look at that um i haven't used it yet and it's like this i don't want to take this off but it just doesn't look fab. Again, though, it's another massive, massive one. But this might be one that would be nice to use in the spring, just as we're starting to get ready to get our legs and body back out again for the world. But um, really looking forward to this. I haven't heard of this brand either, but it looks fabulous. Keeping that. Next, we have a post-shave balm. So we've actually got a couple of these. Um, I've put them in here purely because... It is something to put on afterwards. It is like a nourishing treatment for your legs after you've shaved. So, yeah, it's a body balm. So, I'll keep this. It has Manuka, Honey, Almond Oil, Cocoa Butter. It's from FFS, um, which is great. It's a shaving subscription service. Um, I got these in PR, actually. And you can see they've sort of rebranded. And then um, that's what it used to look like. That's what it looks like now. Um, really nice. Keeping them both. This one's virtually finished. Um, I tend not to use a balm after I've shaved though. Does anyone else? I mean, I don't know. I kind of just use it when I feel like it. Next, this is pretty new, just come in. And it is the Neon Amber Body Lotion from Molten Brown. Little pump dispenser, definitely keeping that. Um, then we have this, which is an Avon Embrace. This was gifted to me really surprisingly by Avon when they had like a little special on with a perfume and body lotion set and they sent me it how random but how lovely of them so yeah i need to get using this haven't used it yet i think it smells really nice actually it is it's really fruity and lovely yeah it's quite pleasant a nice kind of daytime one to use in the summer now i keep saying i'm going to do a video on this is there an expiry date on it i haven't been checking for dates i'm sure they're all right and this is a laid bare hair today gone tomorrow. It's meant to slow down your hairs growing back on your legs. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my goodness. So I'm really curious to see if it works or not. And I think the plan is I'm going to shave my legs and then I'm going to just use this on one leg 
and we'll do a comparison video maybe day by day photos or videos and i'll sort of create a little video if you're interested in that i just think it'd be something really fun a little bit different and who wants to look at hairy legs but i think we all do really so yeah i'm really curious to see how that'll work so might be something to do in the new year but if you're interested in that video let me know i've been dying to do this for so long and i've forgotten all about it so i'm going to get on with that next one is temple spa how lovely peace be still calming skin balm i've had one of these before and i'm sure i can get through this super fast definitely keeping that because it's temple spa which is like beautiful this one feels maybe two-thirds finished ultra repair cream intense hydration for dry parched skin um first aid beauty quite a nice brand actually we used to get this a lot in beauty boxes so yeah i'm keeping that i think i'm down to about there it feels nearly done so it won't take long to finish that one off um we've got some ameliorate again body lotion this will be done super fast only 30 mils these are really handy to take away on holidays and things um oh, talking of holidays are we on saturday that's all i'm saying holiday vlog maybe if i can be bothered maybe um so yeah anyway this i've used it before it's nice and it's great on elbows and knees and all stuff like that Next is a small one. I've had a huge one of these. I've had a full size before and it's nice. I do need to get this used up. It's quite old. I did have the large one. I think I got the big one from Latest in Beauty. I'm not sure if I got the small one from there or maybe I might have got the small one in another beauty box. Like maybe Discovered Beauty. Although no, Discovered Beauty does full size. But I think I've had this somewhere else. 100% um, natural, naturally derived white mulberry it is a really nice lotion really really lovely um so yeah keeping that i'm keeping everything pretty much i think um next thing this is one that you meant to do in the shower so once you've had your shower you put this on your skin and get out you don't rinse it off it's really weird um i think that's what you meant to do um shower finish your shower off turn the water off apply whilst your skin is still wet and um, like a body moisture don't rinse off then just dry with a towel very weird but i think i've used it once and it was all right better than what i expected so yeah i love sanctuary spa i love the fragrance so we're keeping that one too i've not decluttered anything i just need to go and blow my nose i'm back <laughs> it's like nelly the elephant oh my gosh that feels better next i've got two of the same and i've just started using this the other night um and it is the mitchell and peach um english leaf body oil and um, which one have i opened up only a little bit, you can't tell this one, I think. Um, it's lovely. My skin felt amazing. The only thing I hate is the way it's, um, it's the dispensing of it. So I might wait till I've got something with a pipette or something and just um, pop it into another bottle. However, I just took the lid off, poured a bit in my hand. I'm just worried I'm going to spill it all over my carpet. But it is lovely. If you've got this, dig it out. Honestly, it's so, so nice. I'm keeping both of them. Next thing, I think this might need to go. Natural Glow Company golden mango body butter i think it's one of these natural products it looks like it's split how what a shame um let's have a look yeah it's kind of like a bit sad i did start to use it and um, this is a bit funky now which is a pit or is it yeah i don't know it's, it's very natural i just think mm, i think again it was quite a greasy oily type one which isn't sometimes i like that sometimes i don't um did this one stay really i think if you've got very dry skin this would be really nice um oh, is it all right or not it just looks like it's maybe gone a bit weird let's see what it says about keeping it mm, can we read that oh gosh you need to have a mega vision but actually if you look at the side it's definitely changed colors and looks a bit different i'm gonna declutter it what a shame there we go next thing grab your melons <laughs> um anatomicals boo tube we've only just had this very recently in glossy box oh glossy box special glossy box um copper feel honk, honk. it was it was the october box because i was kindly gifted both editions that month that's why i've got two so are these i think like i've tried that one I've not tried that one. I'm going to give one of these away, I think, and I'm going to keep one. Um, fab. 
I need to just finish this off. It's virtually done. And it is a Ritual of Ayurveda by Rituals, a dry body oil. Beautiful. I've had, I think I've finished a full size. Oh, I haven't finished a full size. I thought I had. It's here. <laughs> I've got a bigger one here, which is 50 mils. I've got this little itty bitty baby one, which is nearly done. And this is only 10 mils. Um, they're actually gorgeous. Really nice. I just need to use them. I have, I'm trying to get into body oils now. This is my thing. I'm just trying to do it. Do my body lotions in the morning, body oils at night after my bath. Um, I'm trying very, very hard. <laughs> I'll make more effort. More boob tube, is it? Oh no, it's a shrink to fit cellulite. I used to have a Mio boob tube, um, but this is a shrink to fit cellulite, smoother. Smooth moisturizer, firm. Again, this isn't gonna take much to use up, is it? Oh, it's from the Hook Group. I didn't notice that first time round. I didn't even know that. Oh, distributed by the Hook Group. So I must have just been in collaboration with them. And it's just, it's a long time since I've had this. Oh, pump, come on. Oh, you devil. Um, so this should get my legs looking fab. Um, oh, it's quite a nice, rich, nourishing cream. Oh, my gosh. What's that smell of? Is it like eucalyptus or menthol or mint? Wow, what is that? It's, oh, it's quite pungent, but good. Just... High concentration of powerful ingredients, shrink to fit. Oh, it's, I think it smells really minty. I think it's mint, but it's actually really like, whoa, it kind of like gets re really clears your nostrils. I could have done with that 10 minutes ago. Ooh, wow, I did not expect that. Honestly, it's like, it's very strong. <laughs> it's very strong, I'll keep it. Um, You know, I'm trying to keep most things. I'm trying not to be wasteful. This one looks so pretty. Look at that packaging. Isn't it lovely? And it is a Dr. Botanicals Duo Moisture Tropical Invigorating Cream. It is in like a little metal tube, but you can squeeze them right out. It's vegan. Yeah, so I just love that packaging. So nice. Next thing, I've got some body oils, and I know these. I'm going to get these big ones out. I'm pretty sure these were like deliciously, gorgeously fabulous. Magic Opal Body Oil. Blend of Ayurvedic herbs and botanical natural oils, de stress body oil, 100 mils. This, I think. Look at that. This is just sat in my collection. I'm, I'm just going to start pulling these out. I think I'm going to, you know how I'm going to do like my shop moustaches with my makeup? I think I'm going to do uh, shop my kind of like everything else. You know, for all this sort of products like skincare, hair care, body care, I just think it'd be quite nice to actually go through and just pull a few different things out to use over the month. This is definitely one of them. Or I might sort of bring them into like a project pan or something. I'm thinking about maybe doing like an A to Z project pan for the year um, or something like that. So it'd be quite good to pull these big products out and just work on these full sizes over the full year, then use the smaller ones in between and the other projects. This, I know for a fact, is just gorgeous. And I forget that you can use these body oils in your hair as well as hair oils, um, face and body. So very multi-purpose. Hydrates, nourishes for an instant glow. Um, Sanatio Naturals, Miracle Yehoba Radiance Essence. Look at this. It's beautiful. Is that not gorgeous? What lovely, lovely packaging. This was beautiful. The other one was as well. So I'm really excited to get using this. But imagine that as a gift as well. Is that not just, I think it's stunning packaging. Just look at that, beautiful. In you go. Just the detail is just lovely. Really nice. <gasps> Expire 721. Shut up. I'm going to be using that. I'm not getting rid of that one. I'm <laughs> keeping it. I'll get it used soon. Oh, honest. I can't see how that's going to expire. It's an oil. Um, Avida Stress Fix Composition Oil. Um, oil for body, bath and scalp. Oh, so I can maybe pop that in the, in the bath, actually. Um, and it's not big. What does it smell like? can't remember. Oh, it smells nice. See, this is what that Michelin Peach should have been like. They've got a proper little um, dispenser thing on the top. So even though it's an open bottle, you can reduce how much is coming out. You're less likely to have these unwanted spills. Keep that. We've got another little mini um, temple spa. We've got the bigger one here, as I've already shown you. We've got a little lady baby version of it. 
which is always nice to have. Um, a calming balm again. That's a good one maybe to keep in your bag if you get really like sore chapped knuckles or if you're just out and you think, oh, I just need a little bit of extra nourishing cream on my skin. That's a really nice size to keep or just to try. Next we have, here we go, Rituals. All the writing's come off it, but I'm still keeping it. It's just a body oil, but look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I had quite a few of these. I think I decluttered a few last year, but I'm still keeping this because it smelled lovely. I don't care if it's out of date. I'm going to give it a go. Um, if we ever get to go out properly, then this is the thing I'm going to start wearing. I need to just remember, when I see celebrities on TV and things, and they've got all like the little sort of glittery shimmer on their arms and um, sort of chest and that, I keep thinking, I need to use my body oils with glitter in, and I do forget. I've got another little one here, which is from Nooks. And these are also really nice on your legs if you get a bit of a tan. So maybe when I'm on holiday, this might be nice on an evening. Um, I've got a few of the different looks ones. So we've got this one here, which is the Hul Prodigieu Riche. <laughs> I can never say these. Then we have the like the floral version. Then we have oh, that's another Riche. Those are the same. And then we have the um, the one here with the shimmer in. So those are four little Nooks oils, and the Nooks products honestly smell divine. It's really really gorgeous fragrance i'm keeping all of those i need to start using them again next i have a little esper um body oil here need to use that as well esper's a really gorgeous brand too i'm just not really getting rid of anything i just need to use it oh so please recommendations lots of you must have tried some of these already because a lot of them have come from beauty boxes keeping that and um, so do let me know what you've tried what i should use first recommendations please guys next this was from birch box maybe feel fruit by feel free and um, it's the lemon body cream smelt amazing so i'm definitely keeping that 2024 for ages yet i think i did open it though on my video i need to do better and stop doing that but yeah it's nice it'll be fine for a while keeping that Next, I've used this a bit, and it's a deep sleep body cocoon. So you know how you've got the deep sleep pillow spray? It's just like that, but a body lotion. It's really nice after an evening bath or shower, just to sort of pop it all over your body, and it just sort of helps to prepare you for bed and for a better night's sleep. It is very relaxing. It is lovely. Um, I'm not sure if it makes me sleep better or not, but it is. I like the idea of it. I think it's a nice idea. Next is an Omega Hydrating Oil. Is that a facial oil? Has it snuck in there? I think that's a face oil. So let's move that out of there. It's an imposter. It's taken that away. <laughs> and next is just a little sample, which I had last year as well. Let's just get it done and get it used. This will be great for my turn and burn. So Sanex, is there a date stamped on it, please? Do not be hideously out of date. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, we just need to get that used up. It won't take long to use, so keep hold of that. Be one or two uses, it'll be done. This, um, I had the perfume of this, which was JLo Promise, and this perfume was beautiful, not expensive. Um, I got a little gift set, probably from Savers or somewhere. And then um, it was all, this is so, so nice. Whenever I wore that perfume to work, everybody commented and asked what it was. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this used up and then I continue that um, smelling beautiful. But it's a really nice kind of like, it, it still smells quite gooey out -y. Um, It's very feminine. Let's have a little sniff. Oh, it smells beautiful just gorgeous so yeah i'm gonna keep hold of that it does need use up soon it's a couple of years old for sure next is this smoother butts love coconuts <laughs> coconut and mango body lotion i think this was maybe from a generation glossy box potentially um maybe um but yeah i love it these are really cheap actually really affordable once it's open you can use, use it within two years which is fab so yeah, I'm keeping that. It's nice. It makes me smile. I like the look of it. This looks a fab one as well. Bubble tea, body lotion, and mango iced tea. 
not very big it looks slightly awkward packaging and it's really hard so i think it's maybe quite hard to get out the one that you need to balance upside down you've all had those haven't you where you kind of like to carelessly balance it just to get the last bits out but um yeah i'll get that used it won't take much to use up either next is this tropical glow body butter for radiant glowing skin i mean it looks like it's going to turn you into a carrot um was it a bit this just looks a bit odd do you know what? i think it made me look really orange okay let me just try a bit i mean oh there it is here pop a little bit there and then just i just don't think i'm going to use that i mean it's going to turn my skin i can understand it's maybe going to give you a bit of a glow but it's a bit of an orange glow or is it going to give me like a little bit of a fake tan i can't work it out if i look orange or glowy i think i just look orange um and i'm worried about that transferring okay undecided if you've used this i think someone did use it and let me know i can't remember now thinking back if you've used this one please let me know thoughts on it i'm going to hold it on the think about pile and then um you can get back to me <laughs> um what have we got here this is a oh a bloom and blossom you glow girl performance body oil again i've had a few things from bloom and blow but i can't remember if i like it i've not tried it actually but i don't know if i like the brand moisturize tone and off you glow massage into skin argan oil sweet almond oil and your hubba seed oil is it tinted oh hell's bells god that comes out fast be warned gee whiz Wow, it's a really, okay. I didn't expect to try this. Let me put my sleeve up. This, be careful, it just flies out. There's a lot of oil on that. Um, gosh, that could have been a bit messy. Oh, it, um, yeah, it's got a fragrance on it. It actually feels. <laughs> you can tell it's late. I've not had a drink, I promise. Well, actually, I've had a small wine, but that's all. <laughs> um, she feels nice i mean i did sling a load on i think that'd be really really lovely after a shower or a bath um over your legs and tummy and everywhere and i have to say when you've used an oil your skin definitely feels much much smoother the following day god i'm keeping everything and then finally oh it's a beauty sleep hyaluronic mist it's in here because you spray it on your body so a bit weird um but it is meant to be like kind of like acid for your body so technically it is like moisturizing um so yeah we'll keep it so what am i doing what am i doing i'm going to declutter that body cream I've decided so i'm decluttering that i'm decluttering that golden mango body butter and to be honest in all serious i mean oh it actually looks a bit pinky orange i'm decluttering this but it won't be in the bin for another, I'll, I'll hold on to it in my throwaway pile for a couple of weeks so if you've used it let me know if you liked it or not okay i'm just going to count up well we'll just do it as we go here let's just see how many i've got left i'll put them back into here so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 26. Oh no, I've lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
36, 37, whoa, 38, 39, 40, 41. I should start getting you to guess these products, shouldn't I, before we begin? <laughs> so 41 I'm keeping, three I'm getting rid of. Um, I best I can actually use this category up quite quick. I just need to be um, consistent with my use. So yeah, that is everything. Don't forget, congratulations to the winner. I've forgotten your name now. Oh, was it Sarah Jenkins, Karen Jenkins? I'm really sorry, darling. But yeah, your name's at the beginning and they did a screenshot so I wouldn't forget who you were. So please contact me. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Take care, guys. Bye.